own a technology, but it is completely not okay to be owned by technology. So technology can be a very useful servant, but at the same time a very dangerous master. Respected judges, I advocate the given statement. Elon Musk, the entrepreneur and co-founder of Tesla and PayPal, in one of his interviews stated that there should be legal restrictions on the usage of social media, for it was never created to create such negative and unhealthy impact on the youth as it is doing right now. Social media is teaching us, comparing us with others. It is comparing our behind the scenes with the highlighted reels of the other people. The social networking apps like Facebook, Snapchat, WhatsApp, Twitter have the same neural circuitry as caused by gambling and recreational drugs. And not only that, social media has such a negative impact that some neuroscientists believe that our interaction is similar to a dope of dopamine being injected directly into the system. So we can actually understand how harmful it is for the natural metabolism of the body. A recent survey to decode addiction states that 330 people suffer from social media addiction potential. And not only that, from 2017 to 2021, the number of cases has increased by 63%. On an average, an adult spends 2 hours 27 minutes every day on social media, with the teen spending 9 hours per day. Quoting Bharat Nen, he said that social media is just like suicide or daily installment, and rightfully so, because each and every second of our life we are waiting, scrolling the screen monkey, someone out there is working and creating a successful story of theirs. Addiction and unrealistic expectations for attraction are the defining features of social media. I consider social media to be just like a rat trap. Yes, a rat trap. Where baits like false identity rights to be toxic. To be caught up in own narratives, hashtag this, hashtag that, acts as bait for name rights like us. And once these temptations possesses our loneliness, we get trapped in it forever. Mark Zuckerberg said connectivity is human right, but I want to ask this question from each and every intellectual present over here. Are we really using this right to connect or just mere pretend as a formality where our main goal is something else? Although this world would have been a much slower place without social media, it has both its positive and negative consequences with the negative dominating the positive. Hence, I request you all to go for less posting, more working, less comparing, and more accomplishing. Thank you so much.